How's it going? And today I'm going to show you how to easily add arrows and graphics to your video. Occasionally the need comes up that you want to draw attention to something in a video and you want to use a graphic like an arrow. And the question is, how am I going to do that? Well, the easiest way we found was to use Wingdings 3. I know that sounds funny, but it's the best way to go. So how we start with this is we've got three video tracks and we've got our image on the bottom track. And what we're going to do is we're going to go over to our media generator and we're going to find our legacy text and pull it down on top of our image. And then we're going to trim it to the same size. Then in the font, we're going to hit control within the text box and hit delete to get rid of that text there. We don't want that. Then we scroll down to Wingdings 3. If you hit on your middle keys, and that would be A, S, D, F, G, H, J, K, L, and all the way to the semicolon, you'll find an assortment of arrows. And what you're going to want to do is pick the arrow that has the orientation that you're looking for. But it's the middle keys that you're looking for. And so in this case, the arrow that we're looking for, the orientation is... I don't know would that be 270 degrees it's the it's the J the J key it's always best to pick the arrow with the orientation that you want and what's good now is we can just go into our font size and resize it to a size we like there's some numbers already there but you could actually enter any number that you want and scale it to the size you want now what's really great is now you just click the next tab over and then you simply click and drag and position it where you want it Sometimes with the mouse, it's a little difficult to get it exactly where you want it. So what you got to do is use your arrow keys. And I use the arrow keys a lot for fine tuning adjustments. Now what's fantastic is you now have all these controls available to you. You can add any color to the font that you want. You're actually trying to find the color that has the most contrast and pop to it. So I'm thinking somewhere about blue, but um, I would just say play around with it and see what you like. We'll see where we end up. You could also spin a wheel and see what color the wheel lands on. Blue seems to have the most pop with the particular background and color that we're dealing with. So once you get your color, you can add a stroke outline, which is really creative and fantastic. You could also just have no stroke outline. But having a, a stroke outline really can make the arrow pop even more and gives you much more creative control. So that's a real nice feature of using the wingdings as opposed to using a mask or a cookie cutter or something like that. Then you can also add a drop shadow for more uh, 3D effect and give it even more pop. And now what we're gonna do is drag leg legacy text down again. We were gonna add our description. So we go, we click in the text box, we hit Control A to select everything and delete. It's the same thing again, but now we're just doing text. So I'm just gonna write in here, I, Eyeball sounds a little more interesting than just eye. Then we click the next tab over and we simply drag it to where we want it. Again, using the arrow keys for fine tuning that adjustment. And it's really as simple as that. I was actually going all over Vegas looking for a way to make arrows and I was trying to draw them with masks. And when I found out that Wingdings has arrows in it, I was like, this is the way to go. There's no better way to go because you have complete creative control over what the arrow will then look like. So thanks a lot for watching and I hope you found this helpful.